So in today's world here on Earth, we grow up being taught and conditioned about what beauty is in the magazines and how we should look and how we should behave. It's all handed to us. It's all given to us. And what happens is men, young girls and boys both grow up with an idea of what it's like to be, for example, a man or macho which often involves armies, soldiers, guns and battle, even on the computer games. And like macho and not showing your true feelings, which is suppressing and causes like all sorts of depression and sickness later on growing up in life and social disorders. And women are taught that they're supposed to be skinny and sometimes blonde, according to the Barbie dolls and all sorts of stuff. And that there should be this like picture perfect, like model type of funny, like weird Barbie looking doll. Okay? So, from a very young age, we often learn not to like ourselves and we think we're lacking in something or we're not good enough. We don't meet the standards. And then we look around and we compare ourselves to other people and we, we compare and we think, oh, they're like prettier, they're handsomer than us. And we get a bad self image and feeling about ourselves. And we also then, then there's the competition in schools and in the exams and in the sport. And we think, oh no, like they're better than us at that. And I'm not, we're not good enough. I'm not good enough. So we get this feeling that we're not good enough, everyone. We get this, like, it's sad for me to think this. But there's a way to overcome this, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm just painting the, the picture first. So we grow up as a teenager and a young child, often thinking like we're lacking and not good enough. Which... But what I want to say to you in this video is, if we can look beyond this and see this, we can, and we can realize the truth is that we're souls coming to Earth in this three-dimensional time-space matrix or reality, okay? Hi. And we actually chose our bodies too. We chose our parents and our bodies. And we chose what characteristics and physical attributes and talents and gifts and interests and hobbies and strengths and weaknesses we will have. We're not all meant to be the same, so there's no point in trying to be the same as anyone. Yeah. It's okay to like um, see someone else's good qualities because those good qualities are actually within us too. Um, so we can actually take a positive leaf out of someone's book and learn to develop positive traits within us that we already possess too. Um, for example, we can all walk, we can all talk, we can all dance to a degree, um, we can all sing, we can all do everything to a degree. We're all kind, we all have various different attributes. So it's good to learn from each other, everybody. But what we should really do in life is focus in on what we are really interested in and passionate about and what we really like and what we find interesting and fun and exciting and fun and liking and loving fun and exciting. So I'm saying these words again to build up the energy of what I really mean. So when we, when we immerse ourselves, not just what we're gifted at, but what we actually really like and are interested in instead, what brings us fun and enjoyment and passion and fun and happiness and joy, often it is what we're actually gifted in too. And then we can share this with other people and the world. And we can all enjoy ourselves doing what we like. So then we all share our strengths together. And that's okay, because we're, we're a human family. We are even a small family or community. And we're meant to all have different abilities. So it's, just, it's not correct to try and copy out somebody else. For example, if you see someone else who's a good singer, and then you think, oh, it's really cool to be a singer. I'm going to try to be an actor or a singer as well. If you're not interested in that, it's just silly to do that. It's, it's a wrong path for you. So to find out what is your path, just ask yourself, what do I like the most? What draws my attention and what am I interested in? So it's very simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's not complicated. It's not confusing. Um, so you just follow your hobbies and your interests and keep your passions, and it's simple as that. So, um, 
yeah, we're all different, so let's just focus on our strengths and we can improve our weaknesses. But we don't we don't need to waste time doing like mathematic maths courses if we're not interested in maths. There's no point in doing drumming if we prefer singing. Um, there's no point in doing woodwork if we like art. You know what I mean? So, and then eventually, when someone becomes a really good artist, they can contribute their art to the community or to the world. And the carpenter can contribute the woodwork and the carpentry to the community. And then they share the strengths and the best. So that's all I really want to say, everyone. And what I, what I want to say is I want you to like yourself. I want you to love yourself. And I want you to accept and approve of yourself. And know that you are lovable and loving and you're worthy. You truly are 100%. You are a loving being. You are worthy. You're deserving. You are lovable. You are enough. You are worthy. You deserve love. You deserve goodness and beauty in life. And you are these things to share with the world also. It is only the, the falsehood and the false beliefs and concepts about ourselves and the ideas that we don't possess goodness in our, within us to give also. Like, we have so much to give, and sometimes we have the belief, I've nothing to give, I've nothing good to share. And that's not true. Even uh, listening is a, is a lovely act of sharing and giving. It's an act of receiving, you know. In, in receiving, <laughs> authentically, we actually give, you know. <laughs> so if we lend a listening ear, that's so good for the person who's able to sh share, you know. So yeah, that's all I really want to say. So I hope maybe you share this with your children or young people. Um, share it with your friends or family and social media and give liking really helps the channel the channel so much so thank you so much for liking if you've enjoyed this video and just love and nurture yourself and let's all build up one another and support and build each other up nurturing okay it's not too difficult it's pretty easy um, yeah and we can be all happier together lovely view eh lovely nature this is the Bray to Greystones Cliff Walk in County Wicklow, Ireland. Gorgeous, eh? So everyone, if you're new to the videos, welcome. And do subscribe. And if for everyone, just thanks for watching and lots of love to you. And I really appreciate your help and support in liking, sharing and all that sort of stuff of the video. And for, for any one-to-one -one work, um, check out the link below. Befriend and message me on Facebook. We can collaborate or work together and I do one-to-one -one family and relationship consultations of healing and body, mind, spirit, physical, mental, emotional healing. So, lots of love everyone. Take care and have a really nice day. It's a blessing to be alive. Oh, I love nature. See ya. <laughs> so beautiful. Ah. Oh. Oh.